Hi, I'm Calvin Grimm, and I was born in 1945. And that was the year that the atomic bombs were dropped. For years afterwards, that image of uh, the mushroom atomic bomb was played for the American and the world public over and over again. Between ages four to seven, I started having a recurring dream, a fever dream, and it came to me often, and it was uh, the image of a dried and shriveled sphere in black space. And uh, my mother's told me that it was, I, when she inquired what I was seeing, I said, it's the earth. Making art became a way for me to have a conversation and discuss this sense of this separation that I felt from the life force. Twenty years later, I did another painting that was a, a green apple with a silver aura around it. And that too was in space. And it was, it felt important to me as a spiritual shift, um, a sense that there was a life force that was to be discussed. My motivation and my goals in, in, as an abstract expressionist painter, uh, it's interesting, I actually try not to have a goal when I enter a painting. Um, and that sort of ties into this whole idea of what is our relationship to the environment as well. If I choose to try to control a painting too much, then I'm not in touch with with the life force. There's an interesting question is what can art do for the environment? And um, it's a bit philosophical, but you know, can the art actually do anything? Um, what's really going to do something is what is inside of people. At that point of this earlier dream, I, f I think I was spiritually deprived because I was in pain and in fear. Um, to evolve to where I'm coming from a place of comfort and not of conflict. Um, and that is love, and from that love comes an expression through the art. So the art isn't really doing it, I'm doing it. And so in the same way, we're all doing it. So I think it's important to keep the focus on our own spiritual health. And from that, we can accomplish great things, no matter what the medium is. An organization that I worked with was the National Outdoor Leadership School. Uh, they're based in Lander, Wyoming. Its purpose was to teach wilderness skills and respect for the environment. So we would take five week long expeditions. I was uh, first a student and then a course leader and instructor. And uh, we would teach wilderness skills in the real world, in the real wilderness. And so in Prince William Sound, Alaska, in uh, the early 70s, we were sea kayaking when sea kayaking wasn't even popular yet. Prince William Sound was a spectacular environment. My experience with the creatures there and, and that shoreline environment was such that I mean, I understood that when that tide went out, these creatures were left vulnerable, waiting for that tide to come back in, um, bringing the nourishment that they would then filter. Um, it, was a, it was a beautiful, intimate relationship. And then uh, some 10 years later, I was here in my studio making an optimistic painting and word of the Exxon Valdez oil spill in Prince William Sound occurred, came over the radio. And I knew right away what this meant to that environment, to these creatures. And uh, so this optimistic painting I was working on became very visceral and greasy and hurt and angry. And uh, it was a dynamic painting that uh, I then pretty much put away for 21 years. And uh, that painting is actually called 21 Years, um, the Exxon Valdez to BP Gulf oil spill. The point being that I wanted to re-enter that painting, but I didn't want to without respect to it. And of course, I didn't really want to feel like that again. So the painting laid dormant for 21 years until the BP Gulf oil spill occurred. And then I knew exactly what was happening again. And I re-entered the painting. My most recent painting is called Clearing Out the Stories. And it's interesting in that it's very cluttered painting. It's full of lots of images. It's almost as if I've called upon everything that I've ever experienced and it's in this painting. 
but interestingly it's all moving as if being blown by a wind it's moving in one direction as if leaving the canvas and um, I decided to call it a clearing out the stories because this is what needs to happen is that all these stories that I've been carrying with me are heavy heavy baggage and they're taking up the room that taking up room in my heart and in my mind where the simpler um, accepting person can exist and develop. That's a big challenge from a spiritual pr perspective is, is, is clearing out the garbage and making room for the beautiful. The Lamp Project, spotlighting and supporting socially engaged artists and the causes they champion.